to all my esteemed colleagues and friends and the honored guests. Uh, and it's an honor for me to be here. I wish, like Gary said, to be here live, to be there live. Uh, maybe next time we can arrange it. Uh, I congratulate all on the 268th birth anniversary of Dr. Samuel Hahnemann, founder of homeopathy. After invention of homeopathy in the year 18 and 10, gradually it started gaining confidence of people and how it is one of the popular, now it is one of the popular systems of medicine all over the world, mainly due, due to its perception as a safe, affordable, effective, gentle, scientific, non-invasive and personalized treatment. As per WHO traditional and complementary medicine report 2019, homeopathy is the most practiced TCAM system in the world, and it is practiced in more than 100 countries. On this momentous day, I'm thrilled to announce the official symbol, as Bianca already explained, of the LMHI World's Homeopathy Day celebration of South Africa, the Rosa Homeopathica, the Homeopathy Rose, which we unveiled in a grand ceremony in South Africa today. This is a testament to the growing recognition of homeopathy as a potent and effective system of medicine. So, Liga Medicorum Homeopathica Internationalis is the largest umbrella organization for the homeopathic doctors and associations in the world and has members from 76 countries. LMHI has several working groups with many projects all over the world. Any homeopath, irrespective of the country, can be a part of LMHI and work together for the betterment of the mankind through homeopathy. And I am very happy to mention that India has developed very good infrastructure in homeopathy, mainly because of its appropriate inclusion in relevant acts and rules. Currently, and it's an honor for me to say this, in India, there are around more than 300,000 registered homeopathic practitioners, 268 undergraduate, including 65 postgraduate medical colleges, and more than 7,000 faculties, 28 state council or boards for re registration of doctors, and 464 GMP complaint pharmaceutical industries. So homeopathy is playing a remarkable role in fulfilling healthcare needs of Indians, and hence it's an integral part of healthcare delivery system in India. It's for me, homeopathy in India is heaven. Um, it's a homeopathic heaven for me. So I am of the view that all other countries should take an example of India and develop good infrastructure. Since last few years, I'm observing that Indian homeopaths are not only very effective at treating huge number of patients, but also working hard undertaking scientific research in homeopathy, and thus playing a big role to showcase benefits of homeopathy to the world. Congratulations. And I am seeing many students also from Turkey, where I live, from various countries have inclination to learn homeopathy from Indian homeopath, and hence, India can be a novel place for scientific and authentic education in homeopathy. On this World Homeopathy Day, as we honor the legacy of Dr. Hahnemann, the tremendous achievements of homeopathy, we must also emphasize the importance of collaboration and unity within our community. The new board of the LMHI has made it a top priority to foster cooperation and teamwork among practitioners, patients, and industry partners for the betterment of the public health. As we celebrate today, let us not forget the values and principles that have brought us this far. Let us continue working together to promote and expand homeopathy on a global scale, with the aim to creating a world where everyone has access to personalized and holistic healthcare. 
Let us draw inspiration from the homeopathy rose, Rosa homeopathica, a symbol of strength, perseverance, and growth in our field, and strive to embody these qualities to our daily work. Additionally, I want to take this opportunity to highlight the ongoing projects of LMHI to strengthen homeopathy globally and defend its rightful place in the mainstream healthcare. Our regular webinars, publications, and journals are designed to enhance the knowledge and skills of our members and promote the latest research and developments in homeopathy. Please, I urge all of you to follow LMHI on social media platforms and help us spread awareness and grow our community. The growth and success of homeopathy depends on our ability to unite and work together towards a common goal. The support of India and the Indian homeopathic practitioners is really essential in this endeavor, giving the country's deep roots and rich history. So let us join hands and works towards building a brighter future for homeopathy, where it is recognized and valued as an essential part of the healthcare. Once again, as the president of LMHI, I extend my warmest greetings to and best wishes to all of you in this World Homeopathy Day. And thank you to the organizers and supporters of this initiative and to all of you for your dedication and commitment to homeopathy. So let us continue to be ambassadors of this gentle science of healing and let us continue to restore the sick to the health as Dr. Hahnemann intended. Thank you again for inviting me. Thank you.